originally the bid floor will be blank without any property being populated. Bidders need to select the properties in which they are interested by clicking on the link Properties of Interest. Here the property ID has to be inserted and searched. Multiple properties can be searched one after another and all of them will get populated in the trailing table Add Property Details. The checkboxes against the properties are to be selected and Submit Properties of Interest button to be clicked. On doing so, the properties so selected will be added to the bid floor. It may please be noted that, to find out the property ID and appropriate auction start and closed dates and time, IBAPI portal may be referred. Property ID will be available for search, only during the period in which they are available in the live bidding floor. If during the course of auction, bid floor is overcrowded due to adding of multiple properties, bidders has the option to come back and deactivate a specific lots for bidding, so that the lot will be removed from the live bidding floor. For the selected properties, bidder can navigate to the bid floor for bidding by clicking the link bid floor provided in the left menu panel. On clicking the green button depicting the property ID, a pop-up will display the entire property details. Bidder can enter their bid in the field bid, rupees, slash unit and click on the bid button. In case the last bid, rupees, is depicting dash then it indicates that no bid has been submitted yet and bidder can enter their bid equal to the start price, else if there is a price being displayed in the last bid column, bidder has to enter a value greater than the last bid. The bid should also adhere to the minimum increment value and the next bid should be in multiples of the minimum increment value over and above the last bid. System will also verify whether EMD left is sufficient enough with respect to the EMD of a specific lot and on successful acceptance of the bid, equivalent EMD amount will be deducted from the wallet and the EMD left field will reflect the new balance. Bidders can view the EMD consumption report through the link EMD ledger. Bidder can insert the to and from dates and access the EMD consumption report in a date-wise manner. Bidders can raise a request to get their residual EMD present in the wallet for refund through the link EMD refund between 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. The refund request will be acknowledged and the amount will be credited to the bidder's registered account within two working days. The status of a particular lot, STA slash accepted slash rejected, in which the bidder is H1 can be viewed through the link auction result.